Opposition leader Mark Golding on Saturday visited the Denham Town Police Station to follow up with the lawmen on various activities taking place in the area and also the challenges facing the division, especially amid the pandemic. While speaking with the media, Golding sought to highlight that in most cases, the youth who are involved in crimes are feuding among themselves and also take revenge on relatives and associates of their enemies. He notes the challenges the Denham Town Police are currently facing. The main challenge that they have at the moment is twofold. They have cases ready for persons who are not yet in custody who they have to find. And secondly, getting evidence to be able to sustain a charge and an effective prosecution. Because as you may know, in these communities, there is a culture of persons basically taking the law into their own hands and carrying out their own forms of justice. The government's rebuilt overall and construct project is ongoing, and when asked about the refurbishing of the police stations in the St. Andrew South constituency, Golding had this to say. Well, I think that the police stations, some of them were in deplorable condition and they, they needed to be upgraded because that is where the police operate from and it's not fair to them for them to um, having to work in very dilapidated and deplorable conditions. When asked about implementing zones of special operation, Golding says they have not been effective and notes that it opens the door for some members of the security force to abuse their power. I wouldn't have a problem with it, but the truth is that even in Denham Town, where there is as also, they have tremendous problems with crime and violence still. And so, you know, the effectiveness of having a small area on the Zosa where it's surrounded by other areas which are essentially the same kind of conditions but are not receiving the same level of attention and investment. It doesn't really work as a strategy. Javin McLean, CVM Live.